man is born in this world and from that instant he starts learning the ways and the system of the world. He beholds the world and adjusts himself to its various colors. changed. 
But this change has come only in man's thoughts. Otherwise, nothing else has changed. Just close your eyes. Time is still the same as it was. Earth is the same as it was made. The love of God is the same as it always was. God is love, is life and the truth. But there is another thing present in this world that does not come from God. It is said, who is full of hatred and lies. He brings death. Man is caught in a trap that he has laid. He is kept away from the true God and this is not the will of God. He has created us. He will not forsake us like this. In the Bible, God's promise for us is to prosper us and not to harm us. And as always, God fulfilled His promise. 2000 years ago, the Savior of the world was born. The light in this dark world, the only Son of God. God sent Him to give us the chance to escape from the clutches of Satan. He is only one who can take us out of this wicked cycle from evil and freedom from sin. And his name is Jesus Christ. Born of the Holy Spirit, made in the image of God, who being without sin, died on the cross as a sacrifice. He gave his life on the cross and shed his precious blood. He set us free from the clutches of Satan forever. The wages of sin is death. Living in this perishing and sinful world, the death that we were subject to was taken up by Jesus Christ. Instead, he gave us a holy and eternal life as a gift. This is salvation. Remember that salvation is a gift and is free. To receive this, we do not need to go for any pilgrimage. The Bible tells us that man is not saved by good works, but through grace and through faith. To receive salvation, one needs to have faith in Jesus Christ and walk on the way given by Him. And He will save us. Jesus said, I tell you the truth. He who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment but has passed from death into life. <coughs> Just like Jesus Christ who arose on the third day from the dead, he came to give us everlasting life. Today is the day of salvation to make a choice. You need to make a choice. Unless you are born again, you will not be able to see the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh and will perish. But that which is born of spirit is spirit and eternal. Today God has given us this opportunity through Jesus Christ that we believe in Him and be born again in spirit. Would you like to take up this opportunity? Then the question is for you, do you want to walk with Jesus? Do you want to establish a relationship with the living God for your life? Because why is the gate that leads to destruction and thousands will enter it. But narrow is the gate that leads to life and very few will find it. It is your choice which path you will take.